Hello everyone. Hello everybody. You know Chris from Founding the Grounds. Yeah, yeah. And this is Big John. Big Say hello, John. John. Hey, mate. <laughs> everybody. Hi. And uh, John has kindly invited us up. I just want to do a quick test to make sure you can hear us all right. So I'm just going to try and get some comments on. Um, so, yeah. Can you just let us know? Oh, hello, Gigi. Um, can you hear us okay? Just want to check before I start spouting off that um, we've got good audio. And this is a bit of a wobbly cam, so apologies if it's a little bit shaky, but we'll get there in the end. Let's just uh, make sure it's nice and tight, which it is, you know. All right, well, here we go. And uh, so, yeah, thanks very much to John. It's okay. To invite us down today, and we've had a cracking weekend, haven't we? Oh, you're trying to, you're marking me up. So, I've got the professional with me. What I have to do is zip up as well. Yep, so. Okay, Sorry cool. about this, it's a bit personal. Uh, well, thank you, 365 days of silver got a bit of a dusty screen so it's pretty hard to read all the comments so uh we try our best got my cameraman here to help me out i was gonna wipe it hold on <laughs> <laughs> that's it we can see now um it's well banky screen isn't it it's a it's cover like a no, it's there. got a cover on so yeah. it gets it can it's it can afford scratched. to get uh i mean no one can see what we're talking about but it's, it's all scratched isn't it? Yeah, well, you know, that's the life of a, of a treasure hunter. That's Things get absolutely beaten up. Absolutely, it does. If everything's clean and tidy, I'll be worried. And when you hang your clothes up. Oh, yeah, because um, we uh, we uh, stayed overnight in a local Premier Inn, and uh, Chris loves to be very tidy, whereas I'm just throwing everything everywhere. What's wrong with that? Nothing, mate, nothing. Hang on with stuff up. Hangs it all up in the wardrobe well, for one night merch. only. <laughs> I'm talking to merch, yeah, look, so... Uh, I've got the microphone, look. This is, uh, this is my lucky T-shirt today. And uh, this is what you got a nice early plug in there, boy. <laughs> so, this is his awesome t shirt, it's in like a silver vinyl print. And it says, I'm getting hammered in the weekend. Hopefully, that's the right way around. I don't, know, I don't know if it's back to front. I'm getting hammered this weekend, okay? Yes, do you want to put that on me? I will put it back on you. Yeah. Such a good assistant, haven't I? Honestly, and you've got a little <clears throat> bit of muck on your face. Uh, well, well, that's, that's authenticity. Let me get there. <laughs> right, let's, let's show you a few of our finds then, because we've had a, a really good yes. day. Uh, get straight into the good stuff. We've been, uh, well, this is a predominantly Roman area, although saying <laughs> that, John has found a beautiful hammered as well yesterday. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I didn't bring it with me. Didn't bring it with me, but just, well, I'm going to try and flip the camera around so we get a better view and I can zoom in. Um, and so, hello everyone, yeah. Hello, Sonia. Hello, uh, Victoria. Hello, Julie and everybody else. <laughs> so here we go. This is uh, this is just from today. Oh, I haven't seen these ones yet. Yeah, well, you, there's a few you've not seen it yet. Sorry. They are cracking. Cistercius. Cistercius, yeah, or Japonicus. But I think it's Cistercius. I don't know if it's pious. That is amazing. It's so chunky. Yeah. You can just see a little pair of legs on there. Thank you, Gigi, for the super chat. Uh, miss you, love. And yeah, that is a that's a real beauty. I bet that gave a scream of scene with it. All the way back up to 2010. Like, <laughs> and five a little five p. How did that get in there? <laughs> Oh, you've got some real crackers in there. I think there's two which are my favourite, that one and that one, but this one is is absolutely incredible. But even that that one there was just been the last sunbather and look at the detail. Wow, that was sitting on the and surface. Sitting on the surface. These two, you see were sitting on the surface. No, those two sitting on the surface and they're well worn. But that at first I just thought it was a smashed piece of coin. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's incredible that these uh these coins are still sitting here after 16, 1700 years. Absolutely amazing. And I think John's done fantastic today. He's probably got the most amount. You got one, two, is that eight there? Yep. Yeah, eight coins. Wow! And not uh, outshining Chris too much. Hey, <laughs> Spawny. Here we go. But this is mine from the whole weekend, not just today. Yeah. Um, and there aren't really much to talk about other than you know, this lovely button, a little bit of Samian, some real crusty um, Roman coins, and then this one. Finally, I got something that that's decent. A beauty. Look at that. We think it's probably a uh, denarii, probably a silver washed forgery, perhaps. But it is in cracking condition. The detail on that, on that bus side is. What did you say the emperor was? We think it's Julia. Isn't it? Julia. Julia. So Julia it's the, Yeah, she's um, <clears throat> an empress, as it were. She's like the wife. Oh right. Yeah. yeah, that's a crazy You can always tell by those like the curlers in red. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go, in the sun. There you oh, go, yeah. John. Look, if you step back. Yeah, sorry. Oh, mate. There you wow. go. Look, you can really see it now. Yeah, awesome. Um, <clears throat> Ray, we are in beautiful Lincolnshire, my man. Yeah, we, we was in Norfolk a couple of weeks ago. Uh, that was quite good. Um, that video was on 
uh, that video was the one where I went out detecting with Chris after we did the kill firing. So I reckon these coins are also in one of his pots, wouldn't they? Absolutely. <laughs> Especially like the ones, the grots that aren't like that yep. special. But um, yeah, I've got um, a few in my pouch. I'll try and uh, when, when, when Chris is finished. Um... Hey, do you want me to Oh, yeah, go on then. It's a bit tight, though, isn't it? Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's the one you didn't see earlier. It's not, it's not a... Um, not obviously a coin but it's a nice general service button oh, that's one you shouted yeah, over yeah. yeah oh lovely yeah it's a nice one isn't it yeah these are fairly common but they come up in various uh, conditions that's a nice um, little button oh it's like a starburst yeah a little starburst button I'm gonna pull these out. yeah just one and we so i've got i've got i've got 10 so i've got to hit double figures is this yeah. one today and tomorrow yesterday yeah these ones today today that, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. how does that work yeah these ones are yesterday's and these ones today oh, i've okay. got five including little minions and and all sorts so uh yeah, various qualities there. So, um, yeah, we've had a great day. It's really cool. And uh, we've also been doing a bit of mud larking because this site has got an abundance of pottery, as you can see there. Chris is pulling out his haul of pottery because he's pretty much obsessed with pottery. And uh, as you know, oh, yeah. What on earth is that? <laughs> That's an actual coin. I'm counting that. I've got to count them all. Oh, what, yeah, right. Okay. I've got, yeah, okay. I got some fierce competition in, in yourself and Chris here. Yeah? So, uh, I've got to take everything I can get. But we have it in, um, in width and diameter. Yeah, a lot of these are crusty, aren't they? But anyway, that's, that's your hole. There we go. I might put it on the floor. So oh, no. See what you might be again. Because I'm tethering from my other phone. So, uh, yeah. It's Can you just hold that up in the air? Yeah. <laughs> just for now. <laughs> Find it useful. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you've got a couple of nice ones here. But it's a mad thing that these have been sitting in the ground for all that time. And we're the first people to touch these coins. And on the tens, um, I think in I don't think I've found ten coins on the Thames since I've been doing this. So uh yeah, there we go. Another another gorgeous bust there. I think that one oh yeah, the same as one of uh, as you, yours, John. A little um Constantine, is it? Yeah, it's face remember face it we said about facing uh, right. Yeah. Constantine. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we've got some Constantine, 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 so you say it. Right, I'm going to, um, yeah, so then there's a couple of little minims there as well and a little ch a chewed up one. Although, once I get these cleaned up and put some, uh, like, Vaseline How are you going to clean them up, say? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, funny you should ask. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <cheesy. laughs> Love Fantastic it. segue there to my new invention, <laughs> which I've had the boys giggling for a Where few is, hours. Where is it? Like, oh, it's um, in my pocket. Yeah, is it? So, oh, I'm digging in there. You, there you never know what you. Oh, okay, right, okay. <laughs> so, so you heard it here first, guys. <laughs> this is a um, a new invention by me. Because out on the field, people say, "Oh, you should have a squirter and you should have a toothbrush," and it all gets a bit fingers and thumbs because. Uh, you know, you've got to find your toothbrush. That's what I've done. I've invented a device, which is a two-in-one combo. <laughs> <laughs> it is so ridiculous. And, and it's got a cheeky little name. So sorry if you do get offended very easily. We've got reconnected. Oh, for God's sake. Here, John, hold up. So the, the levels we go to in here to get a good signal for you, you guys. again? Uh, yeah, so, okay, cool. so we'll reveal a little electric toothbrush. So what you've got there is a squirt with electric brush. Should we demonstrate on a coin? Oh, yes. you just put it in my face. <laughs> Thank you. Right, that's a bit of a naffy one. So, okay, cool. So you got your coin, you got your find, right? So what do you do with the vibrator? That's right, you squirt it. Squirt. And then you press the button. And then you clean your coin. And you squirt and you clean and you squirt and you clean. <laughs> Legend. And so when, when you hear a vibration from coming from a field, it's probably the cybrator. <laughs> <laughs> Good cybrations. <laughs> that is the cheesiest thing. <laughs> the good cybrations. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Mate, when everyone's using these a detectable, you, you know where it comes from. So yeah, we have the we have the cybrator. Yeah, sorry about the signal, guys. It is um, a little bit hit and miss. I'm I'm um it seems to be better that way around, I don't know. I'm um tether in from my other phone because i want to use this phone because i've got decent audio so hopefully um <laughs> yeah, too much squirting for a sunday lexi yeah hello by the way lexi. <laughs> don't be <laughs> filthy honestly yeah it's, it's how you take it isn't it it's uh it's always it's, uh, 
if you <laughs> definitely <laughs> I'll I'll I'm going to hold that in my pocket and hopefully I'll get a good signal so interestingly around here like uh, we, we've just seen um, there is some pottery have you got some favourite pieces you want to show yeah, us? Well, let, let's mainly offering your back. Let's, let's dive in. Well, yeah, there is some. I'm gonna stand up here so I've got a good signal. John, are you able to get out of the light? Is that yeah, all right? Yeah. Sorry, mate. Yeah. There's it's mainly greyware down here, but there's some lovely rims. <laughs> that beautiful. And I can really like since I've been making pottery, it yeah, I can see that oh that's how I do my rims, you know. But there's different rims in there. And you can see like your accomplished potters, their stuff's really, really nice. And then there's some more scruffy stuff. There's some big bits of cooking pot in here. I get a little bit excited by it all. There's even some <laughs> burnished stuff. And that's where, um, I think I said before, but where you sort of polish the clay and all oh, yeah. that. You've got some burnished wear in there as well. But there's loads and loads of it. That is about, I don't know, a fifth of what I found today. Yeah, you've got a big bag of it, haven't you, over there? Yeah, and, and we're still, we're going to go and find some more, aren't we? So, um, hopefully that's fine so um yeah so if you're ever looking for permission to metal detect and it's always good to do a little field work well because if you find stuff like this in the ground you know there's occupation and this is quite extreme isn't it in terms of pottery uh there's quite a lot yeah we do believe there was a roman villa sighted here as oh, well yeah i'm not surprised definitely some occupation and uh there's been fibulas found here so brooches and lots of stuff so yeah it's uh it's a good piece of land, and we might go and have a little look around, see what we can find, eyes only, just for a bit of fun, see if we can find some pottery. Hopefully the, the connection stays uh, reasonable. And send John off to see oh, yeah. if he can find something while we're... Okay, cool. So John's going to go off and detect now. I'm going to try not... Can you, can you just favour pick that up? Um, my pot, I don't know, I've got my hands full, I don't want to what, kick it over. What pot? The one on the floor, please. Oh, my God! Uh, Gee, the, name of the, the uh, of name of the device... That we were talking about earlier because <laughs> i know it, some of you cut up it's called the cybrator <laughs> and it's basically electric toothbrush uh not stuck on carefully designed not uh, with the best cut tape uh to allow you to use a very soft headed toothbrush with the vibrating action got the on have you done the on yeah button? you just um you squirt soon. and you vibrate and that way you can clean your finds and it does genuinely work really well so, i think so if anybody out there has got any uh product making you've got any product people that can make it for me you know let me know <laughs> that's quick isn't it yeah it's oh nice it's super well. quick there you go right nice one right, give you a radio yeah okay. a signal yeah lovely old job see so we have comms today so we can say good luck john good luck in the muck So there he goes. <laughs> First time on the manticore for John. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. is it? it is. We can just uh, we can just uh, commentate on him. Oh, look at the swing there. He's very professional. Yeah, nice. Um, nice wobble. Nice swing. He's a little bit high off the ground, but we don't mind that because uh, you know that means that he's well, not going to. Well, Simon, I mean, it's very uneven ground. Yes, it isn't is. it? Yes, <laughs> not as uneven as yesterday's, but you'll see oh, that. Oh my goodness. Right. Um, yesterday's ground, we started first thing, and it was about three to four foot, like divots like that. They deep ploughed it for potatoes, and uh, it means that they got to get really deep to get the air and mix up the ground so the potatoes can easily grow up. Grow up? Grow. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was a nightmare. But we found some good stuff. I found the first Roman coin there, so I was happy about that. And our friend John found a really nice... Um, fibula roman fibula brooch so that was terrific so we had a really good um good morning there and then we moved on to some flatter ground because it was just so such hard work um so yeah and how is all your sundays doing have you been out enjoying your hobbies treasure hunting mudlarking or anything else let us know in the comments and there'll be a video out next sunday i'm editing it as we speak it's a good uh, episode out on the hovercrafts as well with mark uh and it is one to watch. I found one of my best ever finds in terms of wanting to find one of these for ages. So make sure you're there for next Sunday at three o'clock. But we're not over yet. We're going to do a bit of field walking. Um, I'm going to keep my eyes down. I might flip the camera around so you can in, you can have a little look as well, see if you can spot anything. But we're basically looking for pieces of greyware. Here. Oh, here. Come here. Come hither. What do we see, Simon? 
you got a bit of pottery some more greyware <laughs> and um oh now what? tell him tell us a story about this from earlier well i thought i'd found some roman plaster um and there's like a design like a bit like artex but no, you, um, didn't. you thought it was a, you thought it was a, a painted wall well yeah but they would have put on onto the wall but like done it like artex that's what i mean like putting it on and then Oh, okay. So you thought it was a decorated. Yeah, I thought it was decorated, but it turns out we're in a sandstone bed here, and this is <laughs> absolutely full of fossils of um, shellfish. Oh, yeah, dang. I do have a uh, piece myself in here somewhere. That is a really good example. Yeah, it's a really nice fossil. Uh, it might have ended up in the hedge. Oh no, there it is. So all you fossil and rock hounds would probably recognise this sort of thing. And you can see why it does look a bit like a piece of grout holding a tile in, but it is in fact a little shell. So they're cool. Again, a couple of billion years old. He, uh, he, uh... Oh yeah, that's a nice piece. Yeah. Got yet another bit of great and another bit right next to it. <laughs> hey. Literally littered with it. Be nice to find a rim though. Well, you got, oh, look, there's some here. <clears throat> well done ah oh, that's interesting well that's got a little bit of finger work going on well that that's your burnished where so you can see the difference between the outer and the inner where that's been burnished and it's come up nice and yeah nice and dark that's a nice bit that that is cool <laughs> there could be an electric brush with a water compartment so your contraption oh why have i missed that uh So you're uh, get it painted under a different name. <laughs> Don't you like the name, Carol? <laughs> yeah, it's only a joke, really. It's uh, just a bit of fun. It might be that it um, catches on. If not, it just makes me laugh. <laughs> and that's what the world's about, isn't it? Needs a bit more laughter. But also around here, right, there's um, oyster shells. And I think I picked one up earlier. And... Um, it is a good sign of occupation because they they eat them so things like this again if you're ever looking in fields in england and you see oysters it means one of two things generally either the romans were here um or the victorians were here because the victorians also liked a tasty oyster but by the time we got to the victorians it was more of a pauper's dinner because i don't know i think they were they weren't exactly as uh a required taste as they, they are now so everyone ate these and they were cheap and cheerful the oldest objects i've ever found um hard to say really i mean i found celtic coins lots of roman bits and bobs as you know as you know and then we've got fossils which is in my pouch and they're you know millions of years old a mammoth tooth that was really cool thirty thousand years old Bless you. Apologies. Sneeze from down my Oh, nice. So, yeah, this is uh, another good thing about when you go metal detecting on fields, of course, you've got your good old eyes, so you can see as well as detect. Have you found any clay pipes today? Clay pipe stems? Not today. I did yesterday. I did yeah. find one. I, I, I picked it up as a present to you. Oh, it's nice. Thanks. Thanks. Um, that thanks. Great, but... Ah, here. Look ah. at this. Look at this. Oh, that's got a nice bit of a. Um, yeah. What they call that? Inclusions. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's decent. That's a big bit of cooking pot there. That's nice. I like it when it's got the bits and bobs in it. You're going to take that? Oh, <laughs> take I'm an absolute magpie. What isn't he going to take? Well, it's everything. I got to find a bit of room earlier, look. Did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, one. that's a nice little thing, isn't it? And that one. I think that's why it is. Yeah, so it would have been like that. Yeah. No, no. That's that's not even pottery. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that's, that's natural. Yeah, sorry, mate. All right, then. But I get where you're coming from with it. 
Do you want this rim back? Or you can I have it. Can you put in your collection. Um, human thanks. bones um, detecting. Um, that was from Jules. Thank you, Jules, for the question. Um, I don't think I found human bones whilst detecting, but we have been. Oh, there we go. How weird is that? We're just talking about bones. <laughs> you found a sheep's tooth. <laughs> Maybe I should get my uh, electric toothbrush on that and give it a little clean. <laughs> It's the tooth after all. Nice little piece of grey. Oh, yeah, there we go. The Romans was here in this very spot where we are now, as evident by the coins and the pottery we're finding and the sheep's teeth. Um, so, yeah, apart from um, animal bones detected, no, I've never found any human bones whilst detecting because if there was any chance of any burials, they'd be a lot deeper. We're talking like when, when they do discover graves, they're often four four to six seven foot deep but obviously uh, dead man's island um yeah found human skulls there and, and human skulls are being found on various mudlarks i think there's one in fact i might i think i found one on the live if you go back and look at my last live i did with nicola by the way hi nick if you're watching she's got a video out coming out later today so you can go and check that out and uh i think i fondled a bit of a human which is what screen a bit dusty um top of a cranium and i'll put it down again so huh? we have a we have a pesk pest there waiting for us so yeah go and check out that video if you want and um, i don't know it's probably about 20 minutes in and uh, i went back to the spot to see if i could find it but it wasn't there i just got washed away but in hindsight i really wish i'd taken it we got it's a base That's cool. pot, and you can see where the string would have been pulled through to take it off the wheel the wheel yeah so that would have been that way around yep. and then like a cheese slicer underneath to take it off the wheel yeah job done leaves that spiral pattern yeah that's it why so that must mean the wheel is still turning yeah. whilst they do yeah. that but whenever you do yours you just you stop the wheel. i stop but yeah that's but why do they do it while well, it's some, turning? some people can do it like that and well it just adds a nice design in the bottom oh really is that the only reason well it makes sense doesn't it it's a really simple way of adding it in yeah unless it stops it from sticking back down because we had a, a little problem didn't we a bit sticking back straight down again because it can do if you leave it too long so yeah you want to get it off get it right off yeah let's do it <laughs> <laughs> ah there you go another bit oh you're good at this mudlarky malarkey it's a little bit of a rim as well just a little bit though me and Chris went out mudlarking, didn't we, uh, about three or four weeks ago, was it now? Yeah. Um, the uh, Medway was being drained near Tonbridge. And uh, we went down there and had a good day of it. I think, uh, yeah, Sarah was there, his uh, other half, and Kev. So at some point, I'll edit that video as well. We had a good, uh, a good day out there. Always on the lookout for drained rivers. They always produce some really interesting finds. Not always ancient, but some that are... Oh, look, what's that bit? <laughs> yeah, look, that is, you can see there where the potter's fingertips have been. Do you ever take along the tree lines? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a tree line down there. We've, uh, in fact, there was a, I think a Roman coin came up from up there, right on the edge. Um, and down there, so that, that tree line, you're right. There is a, but it's hard to really say because I think, 16, 1700 years ago, this could have all been a forest because Britain underwent an extreme deforesting program when they realized we wanted to farm the entire thing rather than just have forest everywhere. So they ripped up all the forest and made it into agriculture. So this could have been trees. Oh, yeah, Tom, I just saw a comment about the horseshoe. Um, uh, yeah, so the um, Sandra mentioned the um, horseshoe, and uh, that was a Saxon horseshoe. And uh, incredible, a lot of detectorists, well, we all discriminate out iron, so we don't want to pick up horseshoes really and nails because it just means that you're going to be forever finding iron, so we discriminate that sort of stuff. So they're very rare to find because Saxon metal has obviously not lasted very long, especially iron. Um, so yeah, the fact that that little horseshoe is a thousand years old and still in really good condition. In fact, it's in my top 10 finds for an article that I wrote for Searcher magazine, uh, which is due out this year at some point. 
whether they whenever they decide to uh, publish that. So I'll let you know when that will be out, and you can buy the magazine. And I think I might be on the cover. You never know. So that was fun writing that article. It took me a while because um, trying to decide all the finds and looking up all the history and stuff, and then getting some nice photos. Um, but I've been in, been in uh, on search of before when I found the Roman um, pot. But yeah, I'm really looking to look forward to uh, showing you Sunday's video um, because also do a really cool upcycle and I've made a lamp using a bottle so you've heard it at first thanks for tuning into the lives you get a little sneak preview of what's coming up <laughs> even if you don't want to <laughs> if you don't want to hear about it I'm telling you <clears throat> hello bumpkin drones <laughs> cool name. Sorry, a bit too close to the camera sometimes. So yeah, it's been a good day. Oh, there's that little ring there. I oh, know it's a bit of stick. Let me flip the camera around and you can have a little look as well as I'm going along. John hasn't found anything yet. No. Nothing. Another piece of greyware. Hello, Jason from Rotherham. Oh, we're well, not too far from you, I don't think. Lincoln. It's all up north to me. Smoking Roman pot. Hello, Jack. All right, but. That looks like a brick. What's the best camera to use on a headband? Um, I would say just use a, well, I use a Samson S23 Ultra and it's perfect. I love an iPhone, but they, I don't know. I'm a Mac man, but for some reason I've just decided that. Um, Samsung's are better for me. They're more robust. They've got bigger memory. So yeah, and they've got really good zoom capabilities. Okay, I'll try and slow it down a little bit so you don't get so dizzy. But it's so exciting. Oh, it's a little bit of a pot. pot. No, it's like a plant pot. Roman, it's crazy, isn't it? Oh right, nice one, Lexi. Yeah, I was um, I was told I passed the cathedral, but I think I missed it. Uh, what about this one, Chris? What we got? It's a uh, little terracotta number, I think. Really? Yeah, it's a base. I think yeah that bit's the base yeah so actually i don't know if that might have been the rim it would have been a very shallow little thing if it if there was any more there it might have gone up a bit but that's the profile yeah it's absolutely everywhere as soon it as you is, see one you just see that's, that's what i've got just in the time we've been live wow <laughs> are you going to break out the detectors today well the thing is right we've been um i'm going to slowly turn you around um i reckon this field is quite quiet, wouldn't you say, in terms of signals? Mm. Um, yeah, it is. And the trouble is, with as many as many coins as we have found, they they are like I'd say it's like one an hour each on average. If you sort of yeah, spend it, it out, it's steady, isn't it? We couldn't say that we even if we did a live for an hour, we might not find anything. Yeah, That'd we could really do it, uh, but it might be that you just get tired of just seeing a, a detector swing around. Uh, so this is just a little. Hello to you guys. Hope you're checking in and doing all right. And this is just what we're up to today. Mm. The, best, the good thing about it is you see all the fine straight up. There's no, um, um, you know, teasing <laughs> and digging and stuff. It's just here's what we found. And you can see by the state of them, it's all uh, it's all real stuff. But Chris will put out a video of our days won't you yeah i mean point. who wants to watch boring old metal detecting eh nah, mudlock <laughs> is much better right <laughs> I think that's the beauty of youtube isn't it you should never forget that that our videos they take all day to make and they're 20 minutes long and metal detecting isn't just find after find some days like today oh yeah are slow but 
have been worth it. Absolutely yeah, it is. It's a long it. slog, and we're knackered. Mm. It's like it is. We started at half nine ish or ten. Yeah. And now it's three o'clock, but we'll probably do a little bit, maybe a little bit more. I'm not sure. Yeah, I've got to get, got to get back. It's a three hour drive for me to get here. Yeah, um, but yesterday it was a good solid like seven hours in the field. So what's that like? Eleven or twelve hours of, of detecting. Yeah. And yeah, so there's a lot of detecting, but yeah, maybe another day we'll do a live detecting if if. But uh, you know, this is this is the better way around for me because if I was watching, it, I just want to see what you found. Yeah. But you make more of a story about it when you put it, when you edit it nicely and you can get to the point. Oh, and the obviously, value, isn't it? and with Chris's videos and my videos, what we do, we get a chance to do close ups and we show a bit of the history and what it was about, uh, rather than just going, "Oh, here's a coin, right? Next next thing," um, because I always like to know what the thing is and Harry got there there and yeah. what the history is behind it and that's the beauty of uh, when you get to edit things and that's why it's so good at what you do simon well, isn't thank you it? very much because anyone can just plonk a little clay pipe out of the mud but then you can talk for an hour about it so <laughs> right well it deserves the recognition <laughs> don't you think absolutely <laughs> have you found any clay but oh just that one bit wasn't it? yeah it was in my pouch somewhere i'm but, not uh, quite sure we're in the, the the pit that we were supposed to be in because i can't see any oyster shells have we moved i don't know if it was further up the other way <clears throat> I mean, don't get me wrong, there's pottery everywhere, it's not a problem, but... Hello, the Scottish Detectorist, that's John, I believe. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you mean to... Well, oh, it doesn't matter, because I've got... <laughs> I keep forgetting I've got a mic on, like you did to me at Detectable. We're coming over, John. We're coming over. Over. <laughs> oh, it's interesting. Hopefully the signal... <laughs> oh right that's it it's your <laughs> coin i'm calling it it's mine <laughs> well it's good it's worth sending john off then <clears throat> yeah definitely a little mission god we've wandered quite away actually just chatting about stuff it's can still you... stopping and looking at pottery or bits of can i ask to the people watching right now is there any like proper ancient pottery roman ec uh, roman pottery experts in the group because um Got some questions for you, the experts there. Any Roman pottery experts on the chat now? Because we have a question. If you are, oh, please raise your hand <laughs> or just make yourself known. Is there a Roman expert in the house? Knock twice for yes and once for no. <laughs> We've got a very pressing question. Well, you can just ask it anyway and then people can just guess. What's the, what, what is the well, question? you know, Simon, we did... Um, carbon reduction, didn't we? So we had terracotta pottery and we did carbon reduction and it made it go dark, right? But we're finding pottery today that's dark on the inside and light on the outside. Oh, so yeah. terracotta on the outside and dark on the inside. What the heck is that about? No idea. See John's face. It's got a big, oh, big smile on his oh, face. Oh, what's he got? Has he nailed it? I thought he was giving me the finger then. <gasps> oh, my word. Oh, is it man. Is no, it it's not tealby? Tealby. No, it's not no? That's a beautiful half cut silver coin that is the well weirdest done. looking flag <laughs> he, he done it on the live does that need vibration oh i thought it yes. was yes it needs vibration <laughs> it needs vibration it needs some vibration no it does fine i've got it you got it yeah, yeah. and weirdly do you know what it is it needs vibration it's not cut half it's been folded and snapped snapped so the other bit oh, might be around, around here, then. yeah yeah it could be sorry yeah i didn't think the flan um oh, you had can anything see, on it you? Yeah, you could. That's not a clean brick, is it? No, no, that's what I'm saying. It's, it, you can see it. I thought that was me who brought that. Well, it might have been. <laughs> <laughs> so, do we know what. Uh, but is that what? not? Flip it over again. It's a short cross. It's short cross, yeah, avoided short cross. Yeah. And, and is that John, Richard, or Henry? Yeah, you can wow. see if it was cut properly, it would have gone through the short cross. That's yeah, so what it has been folded for. and smashed. Yeah. So, the, there could actually be. Did you want that? <laughs> Seriously, do you it want me needs, to do it? It needs vibration. You're going to press the button. You got I'm it. I'm thinking about good vibration. Oh, it's not even that dirty. Look how gentle the vibrator is. Look, it's, 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 it barely tickles it. It feels so good in your hand. <laughs> All right. You too could have a vibrator in your life. <laughs> not for sale in shops. I can't tell who it is from there, but it, there we go. it could easily be a John. But um, I, we'll go do Henry. You know which the third. one is John Richard? Okay, Henry. I never know which one. Yeah, well, um, John has quite um, a long face, I think, from what I remember. Okay. 
I don't think he does. So because I think it's a Henry. You got the harder shot crosses, didn't you? Yeah, which I know a little bit better, but I'm probably wrong. The people screaming at me. Wicked. Saying, well, cracking it'll find. It's goggly eye. So why do you know? I mean, people at home would like to know why is it half a coin and not a real like full coin? Well, real, this well this specifically this one looks like it's been damaged, but it, equally they only had pennies during the reign of Henry the the third, Richard and John. That was your biggest denomination. Indeed, you're only one who didn't have anything smaller either. So if you had a penny and someone wanted to sell you something for half a penny, you'd have to cut it in half. Yeah. Or cut it in a quarter. Or into a quarter. There we go. And there's a little factoid for you here. Um, in the UK, at least, if you're out drinking and you've had a li- you got tipsy, a little bit of drink, got a little bit of uh, half cut. There right. we go. There you go. And that comes from the fact that a cut half would get you enough beer to get you tipsy. Oh, fucking things right. <laughs> <laughs> Good knowledge. Nice factoid. <laughs> there Very we go. Good. I can't believe you found hammered when we're doing a live, you spawny sod. <laughs> he's, he's the luckiest he's, guy ever. Well, it's his, it's his permission. He's allowed to be smart. Well but done, I John. Think that's, that's not many hammer come off of you. No. Not many at all. No. And you took the piss because you said that. Um, so does that mean that take me into the lead again then? And I think you, you, you get him a t shirt because you found hammered. <laughs> he needs a t shirt now. They're far too premium to give away. That's too hammered. <laughs> it's too hammered you've had this weekend. Jammy, jammy, John. Well, well done, mate. That was, mate. A, that was a clean 10. Real clean 10. Sorry if the uh, signal's Pretty a bit... Um, clean. A bit naff. It's because I'm tethering from my iPhone to my other camera because I've got better audio. So if it's a little bit crackly, hopefully you can uh, you can get the gist of what we're saying here. But the um, <laughs> there's a way that way it goes, unfortunately. Chat's fine. Picture in pixels. Okay, fine. So you can hear, hear us. Um, I'm sh- I might, well, look, I'll tell you what. If you've missed anything and you want to see the finds again, Chris will be putting out a video at some point. So you can see the find. You're going to film that little half hammered in a minute, are you, as well, for your channel? Yeah, might as well. It will be a video. It's I'm be so sorry. Time. I've had a little break. That's fine. It's fine. He's had I'm a little sorry. Break. Had a little break. Check out my channel. Subscribe to it in <laughs> case I ever put a video out again. It's found <laughs> in the ground. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's good stuff. A bit of pottery and uh, some history and some metal detecting. And he's also a detect expert, which means he knows a little bit more than the average nerd about detectors. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> well i think that nearly sums it up don't you i think we've had a good session you've seen all of all our founds finds <laughs> i think I've, I've stripped this land of greyware <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah there's a if you if you can't get out detecting just get out and walk in a field because there's always something to find in fact yesterday we went into a different field and there was a uh, a manor that had been demolished and a lot of the stuff that was in the manor is scattered around the field and i found a complete little mini perfume bowl chris didn't catch that on film but um gave it to john because he's uh he's um been generous enough to allow us on to detect and he was so chuffed when i found it I um, thought, why not? Give it to him. Got enough bottles of my own. Um, what was I, what was I going to say? I think that's pretty much it. Uh, oh yeah, one little thing. Uh, I haven't actually apologised for the last cock-up. that I, The last live I did, I put it on at 3am <laughs> and not 3pm. Because when you put these little schedules in, it's very easy to make a mistake. And I know a few of you are up at 3am uh wondering where i was <laughs> but i did rectify that by actually doing it the next day so uh it was a cock up on my half i did it when i got back it was i think it was a long day of actually going out doing something else and i scheduled the stream and didn't put the right time in so apologies to anybody that wasted their time but that's life we all make mistakes everyone's human um what you got there mate that, that's what my question was about just all right let's go let's just talk about that quickly so um yeah, Chris wants to know why the inside of them sometimes appears different, uh, completely different yeah. colour to the outside. Terracotta what? on the inside and outside grey in the middle. It's not yeah. two different clays, is it? Now, when we fired them, they were terracotta in the do middle. You think that the, the uh, do you think that the substance gets brought out to the surface during that firing process? I, I have no idea. It's almost like, we you know when you melt metal, all the um, crud goes to the surface. Do you think it's like 
all the particles are working their way out to the outside. Really? Do you think it's because it's been out in the sun? Well, it's got if, a suntan. If you <laughs> if you fry it. If you fry something in the frying pan, the outsides get seared, don't they? And the inside is a different colour. So it's, it's a chemical reaction, and then we can always um, have a look at it later. Or you can just Google it, mate. I don't want it. I want you guys to let us know. That's good interaction, everybody. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, another bit. <laughs> he's, he's obsessed. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, somebody had yeah we're very blessed here to have some good age around here it's... yeah just what can i say we're lucky and uh we're out here finding it and sharing it with you I hope you enjoy it <laughs> right if you want some Roman pottery of your own, check out. Have you got some on yours? Your mm, Etsy? No. It's only for UK, but um, on my Etsy, there's going to be some um, Roman sherds, so you can get your own ones if you want, but it has to be UK. You can't be exporting these things around the world. But yeah, yeah we'll we can see. share them with you via Etsy. There we go. And he's also got some wonderful pots there, so I'll try and put a link. Actually, the previous video is where you can find Chris's Etsy shop. There's lots of wonderful things. Right, guys, I might leave you, love you and leave you. It's been a nice 40 minutes of, of uh, easy chat and detecting finds. I think John's got another signal, so if he has. How is it, John? Is it? No, nothing. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> well, thanks very much for joining, guys, um, and uh, I'll see you on the next Mud Venture, and stay safe. Uh, goodbye from Chris. <laughs> Bye everyone, thanks for coming along you and supporting him. Did you, did you almost fall over? No? Did you? I thought you tripped. <laughs> <laughs> right, thanks very much everybody. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on Sunday, 3pm for the next Mud Venture. And you don't want to miss it because I'll get a find, personally, a find of a lifetime. And it's really exciting. Uh, so yeah, thanks very much everybody. Love you and good night.